puppy's pretty solid built. I'm not sure if this is a chain or gear. We'll dive into it when we have more time. First, let's check this puppy out. So it's one, two, three, so six tines per uh, flange. Is that what you call it? Um, pretty clean for being a used unit. I don't know. I'm going to make it pretty dirty. I don't know, it seems to be pretty decent, huh? Okay, we're going to measure if uh, tilting the, adjusting the top link changes the depth. Um, in my mind, that seemed, that would be how it would work, but Let's verify. All right, I'm getting three and a half inches. Uh, let's see. I got the same measurements and I actually went forward because I could see that the tiller was grabbing further forward. The whole tiller, you know, kind of went forward. Um, then I'm like, well, I don't think that's really going deeper. It just seemed like the whole thing, the whole thing came over, not just rotated, but the whole thing wanted to come. And I went all the way back and I know it kind of voids the test, right? When you do them both ways. Um, but when I went forward, it did dig ground, more ground, but it dug it ahead of it. Then when I went backwards, it seemed kind of like it was digging, nah, not a whole lot. Uh, so I went all the way back and I think it might have, you know, grabbed a little bit of dirt on the back. The overall depth didn't change. Um, I don't know. Let's look further into it. I think I see what's going on. So the skids, the shoes, are up as high as possible and they follow the same curve um, as the rototiller itself, this guy. So as you're back over here, you know, if you're, you rotate it, your plumb bob will be over here, be the same depth, same height as over here. So you're just rotating it on, on a different, uh, on the same angle, just a different height. If you drop this down, so then the skid's going to be down over here. So if you're tilted back, it's going to be higher, right? If this is down, then, then you'd be plumbed over here. You're going to have a longer length through here. But as you came around, and tilted it forward and you were up over here, it would be short. So right now it's set for, you know, max depth and it really doesn't matter if you go front or back. 
you drop this shoe down, you can see how it flattens out here, it kind of comes in flat. Well, if this is down more like this, as, as the whole thing's tilted back, it's going to ride higher. And then it's going to come over here to this side as you tilt it forward. I can't bend my hand like that. You tilt it forward, then it's going to go lower. With the hydraulic top link, uh, I can see the previous owner had at max depth just, you know, blow and go. I'm kind of thinking with a hydraulic top link and not the mechanical top link that it's going to be pretty quick to change depth just with the handle. I might drop this down a little bit so I can better control the depth. I don't think I need to do max depth every single job everywhere I go. barely even tilling but as you rotate the whole thing you know we're gonna be up over here so you know and seven inches comes back over here you know we're, we're we lost uh, about an inch and a half that's a that's a hypothesis let's test it Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So it it barely even touched anything. I got a couple scuff marks over there, so it's that's about the least that it, that it'll till. It really didn't do much over here. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that definitely tilled a whole lot deeper. Um, and truthfully, that's almost almost as deep as I need to get. I mean, there's you know maybe a little bit of ridge, you know, right through here. Ah, boy, it's it ain't much. Um, and that was as high as I could set it. I'm thinking if I split the middle of it, that'll give me a that'll give me the ability to control the depth of tilling, but still be able to get you know fairly deep. All right, so at the highest setting you can go, but using the top tilt, it went from you know barely nicking the surface to I, I did a quick couple measurements. Uh, on average, two and a half inches. I think if we just lower it down one notch, we'll try there and if that doesn't work, we'll go deeper. So barely, barely scuffed it. we have it yeah yeah it's right at three inches that'll be plenty <laughs> 